In Belur, where tranquility weaves its tail, stand Belur Mud, where spirit sets sail. Belur Mud, an oasis of peace and grace, a sanctuary where souls find their rightful place. Amidst lush greenery and whispers of trees, rises a marvel that captures hearts with ease. Swami Vivekananda's vision brought to life a beam of light dispelling worldly strife. As you might have guessed, in this video we'll go to Belur Mud and also look at some architectures you might not have heard about inside the temple premises like Abhinanda Convention Center and Ramkrishna Mission Vivekananda University, Ramkrishna Sangra Mandir Museum, etc. And railway fans, don't get upset because we'll have a nice train journey from Chandnagar to Belur showing various towns and trains in between. Let's begin. Hey guys and welcome to today's vlog. In this video, we'll be taking you on a captivating journey from Chandanagar to Belur to explore the magnificent Belur Mud. So, here we are at Chandanagar station, eagerly waiting for our train, the Howrah Bandalo, which has just arrived. I must admit, filming was quite challenging as I stood near the train door and boy it was safe. Our adventure commenced at 4 pm and soon we reached Mankunda station. Now we have arrived at Bhadresh station and our next stop will be Baddhabati station. As we travel, keep an eye on Shadow Police Junction where multiple train lines converge. One line heads to Tarakeshwar, another to Bordhaman and Bandar, while yet another originates from Howrah. This bustling junction serves as a gateway to various destinations. While there were numerous stations along the way, I decided to find a seat to make my journey more comfortable. Luckily, the train wasn't too crowded during this hour. Now, behold the site of Rishra Jutri, also known as Ackland Mill, established in 1855. It holds the distinction of being India's first duty. Although it's currently partially dormant due to cheaper alternatives like plastic, 
people are gradually returning to Jew owing to its biodegradable nature. Finally, we have arrived at Bellu station at around 5.15 pm. Our next move is to head to Subway and hop on a rickshaw ride to Bellur Mat. It took about 20 minutes to get there. Now, on your screen, you can see the magnificent gate of Belur Mat coming into view. It's a sight to behold. Belur Mat isn't just a place of spirituality. It's also home to prestigious Ramakrishna Mission Vivekananda Education and Research Institute. Established in 2005 under the guidance of Ramakrishna Mission, this esteemed institute is a deemed university fostering education and research. The serenity of this place is truly awe-inspiring, with lush green trees swaying in the gentle breeze of River Hobi. Inside the main gate, vehicles are not permitted, creating an atmosphere of tranquility. As we step inside, you can catch a glimpse of remarkable Ram Krishna music. Unfortunately, cameras are strictly prohibited inside, preventing us from showing you its treasures. The Ram Krishna Museum, also known as Ram Krishna Mission Swami Vivekananda's Ancestral House and Cultural Center, pays homage to the lives and teachings of Sri Ram Krishna Paramahans, Srimati Sharda Devi, and Swami Vivekananda. Within the museum, you will discover a captivating collection of photographs, artifacts and personal belongings of Sri Ramakrishna, including his clothes, utensils and manuscripts. Additionally, it showcases fascinating exhibits related to Swami Vivekananda, such as his writings, letters, photographs, etc. This museum provides a profound insight into the lives of these spiritual luminaries and their immense contribution to religious and social reforms in India. Our journey has finally brought us to Belumar, but alas, this video is getting quite long. Don't worry though, as I'll share more captivating details about this extraordinary place in our next video. Stay tuned.